this is the narcissist's next move. This is what they're going to do next. Narcissists may seem unpredictable. It can seem like you never know what they're going to do next. But it is actually very easy to predict the narcissist's next move. By analyzing what they have done in the past. Because you will see that there is a pattern of behavior. They repeat the same things again and again. They never change. There may be a subtle difference, but their past behavior will repeat itself in some shape or form. So you can predict their future behavior by studying their past behavior. If the narcissist cheated on their ex to be with you, eventually they're going to cheat on you. They might not reveal this information to you in the beginning, but pay attention to what they say to you as you get to know them. Because if they cheated on someone to be with you, you may feel special, you may think you're the exception, and they're not going to cheat on you. But if they have a history of cheating, they're likely to do it again. You may think that you're the main person in their life, but their ex was their main person at one point and they cheated on them because they don't care about anyone. They don't value anyone. They take people for granted. And that is why it's so easy for them to ghost you. It's so easy for them to disappear like you never existed. And then they move on to someone else like you never meant anything to them. But then one day they come back. They text you. They call you on the phone. And it's very disrespectful. Because they come back like nothing happened. As though what they did wasn't a big deal. As though it's not something that needs to be discussed. And they make you believe that this time is going to be different. But then they do the same thing that they did before. Which is why it's important for you to study their patterns of behavior. So that you will already be able to predict their next move. Because then you will be able to detach. You will be less likely to feel shock or distress when they betray you. Because you already know what's coming. You already know what they're going to do. They played these games with you so many times before. They went back and forth with their ex. They got involved with so many different people. And then they got rid of them and came back to you. But you told yourself that it didn't mean anything with those other people. You told yourself that you were special. You were important to them. But the truth is that you are accepting their disloyalty because you lack self-love. If you were the one, they would not have left you. They would not have met someone else. They would not still be married. They would not be living with someone else. They wouldn't be doing any of those things. If they have cheated on you five or ten times, they're not suddenly going to stop. You need to study their past behaviors. You need to realize that this is who they are. They feel empty inside, so they need constant attention and validation, and that's never going to change. They're always going to be that way. So you need to accept that it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. 
and the longer you stay with them the more it's going to affect you which is why you need to cut them off but how long is it going to take for you to do that are you going to wait around for another year or another two years are you still going to go back to them when they call you after they've just cheated on you with another person and they're crying to you on the phone telling you they can't live without you it's all fake it's intended to disguise and to draw attention away from the unpleasant issues they might feel sad in that moment which is why it seems so real but their feelings can change from one moment to the next they might be crying to you in one moment but then a few hours later they will go and do the same thing again it's just an endless cycle they're never going to change and you're never going to get better as long as you stay with them you have to go no contact not only with them but also their family and friends because they're all in contact with the narcissist you have to cut off everything that has anything to do with them you need to move far away from them because anyone who is involved with them is going to end up turning against you they're going to end up hating you they're going to think that you're the one who is disloyal because they're being brainwashed by the narcissist so you have to move far away you have to start over again and when you do that you will meet better people people who are like minded people who are not against you but you won't find that as long as you're still caught up with a narcissist as long as you're still thinking of getting revenge because that's just going to hold you back from your future you don't need to think about getting revenge their actions have consequences everything they do will come back to affect them you don't need to be there to see it everything they do is going to come back to them eventually you just need to focus on what you're going to do to make your life better Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.